So, we got our rupees ready. I've got these in case I start coughing more. And I think we're set to go. So, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. First off, let's go catch up with Beetle. Beetle, get back here! How dare you, Beetle. How dare you just run off without me? I'm your man, man. I... See, I got, I got this friendly beetle right here. Don't you like him? Uh, don't leave me behind. Ow. Excuse me. Good me. Thank you. I think there's just one more thing in here we have to get then. After that, yeah. This is gonna leave me with zero rupees though. Oh, you have great taste in things. Isn't it shiny? I found it someplace nearby. To be honest, I have no idea what it's for, but I'll sell it to you for 1600. That's expensive, but okay. Oh, it really suits you. Okay, bye. Never to be seen. Actually, never mind. I was going to say never to be seen again, but that's not true. Hasn't done it yet, but if the game does start lagging out, I apologize. This is not take one. This is like take three. Because the game would lag out to a degree that I do not appreciate. So if that starts happening, I apologize ahead of time. Hello. Haru? Hey, Headmaster Gabara. Are you the one I'm supposed to talk to? You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. I think I am. So, how's it going down there? Are you any closer to fighting my Zelda? About that. Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda. Things must be terribly ter trying for her. All three times I've accidentally almost said terrifying instead of trying. I don't know, man. Alright. Dude, I... And it can't be easy for you to know either, can it? No. What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the Link Ceremony? Apparently? You know I'm not much of a singer. Sing it! Listen. As I said... I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you. Aw, oh, come on! But if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. Oh, youth, guided by the... Oh. I could probably run a marathon and this guy still won't be done. O oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the table. Where's the table? He's saying land. I had a table in here. Where'd it go? That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. While you're saying that, I'm going to go look for my table. They have my deck of cards I was going to play Solitaire on. Uh, you know, to help bypass the time while waiting for Zelda to finish up whatever shenanigans she's doing down wherever the hell she went. I'll be back in like 12 hours. Comes back. You're still not done. Did 
you even notice me leaving? Oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about two, two whirling sails, though. Sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows the, these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen? Uh, how do you go about doing that? What does it mean? Two whirling sails. I know! This is a whirling sail right here. Whee! What? No? Maybe if I spin faster? Well, he's not doing it. Never mind. The poor just watches. Uh, Link, please stop. Stop, Link. Stop, Link. Stop, Link. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Link! Stop! I don't really imagine something like that happening. Link falls flat on his face out of dizziness. Oh, that was so much fun. What's the next time we can do? Good, he's asleep. Take him to his dormitory and lock him inside. But he can unlock it from the inside. Remove the lock. I don't want to see him do that again. <clears throat> Alright, so we're here and... Hmm. We're not supposed to be here yet. Why do you do that, Link? I'm never going to understand that. It just kind of pulls out the sword just because. Hey. Thank you. Trust me, for future reference, that's going to be needed. Well, that was fun. Bye! Alright, windmill number one. <laughs> I win! Okay. Enough goofing off. I think there's something going up on here, Link, that... Link, what have you been doing recently? I win! Uh, Link? I win! Okay, who who drugged our hero? Who, who drugged the hero of skies? I think that's what this one's referred to. Is it? Is it the hero of skies? I forget. I actually forget. Hey! What up? Thank you so much for tracking down Kukil, Link. It's such a gorgeous day today, too. I win! Uh, Link. Seriously, who drugged you? Uh, I was given this poppy seed. And Bob, oh my gosh. Link, you're being so stupid, you're starting to make me think of Bob. And in truth, Link is Bob. <laughs> oh, that'd be frightening. Bob runs... If I ever saw Bob... If I ever imagined, no, saw or imagined Bob running around in that kind of tunic, I'd be questioning his ideals. Anyway. Oops. I did not mean to do that one. <sighs> story of my life. Well, story of my life. Hey! What's up, Link? What? So, you're curious about the windmill, eh? 
pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it can always catch the wind no matter what. No matter which way it's blowing. Not with this one, but, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. Must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. Huh. That's a bit problematic. The windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. Well, that's definitely problematic. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there, sure. But, uh, how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Oh, really? You want to bet? Hang on. Come to think of it. Gone to what the scrap shop told me that someone in his family used used to once used a Someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. All you're getting out of this episode is gibberish, okay? But we're talking about a, a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years. So I wouldn't put much stock in it. I don't know. I could... I'm never going to understand why it does that. Okay. Gondo. Excuse me. Double excuse me. I don't know why I pick up suddenly, but I do. <sighs> Alright, here? Hi, Gondo. Hey. hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? <laughs> This is what happens when you give... When you put Bob's brain inside it, Link, this is what happens. This is what happens when Bob Link becomes Bob. Huh? huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Nope. Well, get in line. I've heard it bit. Wait. That's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what this means? That means you believe my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Yes, now calm down. Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot, what's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right, I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. If you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. That could be important. Especially for a side quest that I'm dreading. More or less. It's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of, much less seen any. Here you go! Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding? This is not an ancient flower. This is a goddess butterfly. What are you doing with the wing of one anyway? Oh. Uh, 
That's a that's a flower. Oh jeez. Leek is literally turning into Bob. Leek, come on, give him the flower. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, joking aside, this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great. With this, we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. Okay. Ooh, there you go. Wow. That's impressive. Thank you. I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Hi, customer here. Uh... Who is this green clad individual of small stats? Hey! <laughs> Whoa, it, can, it talked? Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix it. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Mm, are you sure it was him? Rude. Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Oh. Hey, now. Watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. What life? It's a robot, Gonzo. I mean, Gondo. <laughs> Can I call you Gonzo instead? That's a lot of a fun name. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around, and you're going to help him. Mm, this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Serving children is very low in my task priorities. Be help. Master Link, materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dowsing. I don't care! I don't use the dowsing! Not right now, at least. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Your name is V. Should I call you Mistress B? Are you looking for something, Mistress B? I... I understand. At your request, I will carry anything regardless of weight or destination. I didn't hear her say anything. Master, we now have the means to bring... I... I noticed, V. Thank you. You're behind my. You're above my head, actually. Thanks. Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mr. Speed's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mr. Speed to call me, and I will arrive with haste. Okay. So, how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know where to go and I know what to do. I know he's kind of goofy looking. But when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. I'm not using the dowsing game. Get over it. I don't know which I was rolling my eyes to there. Bink? Or Lob? Or Lib? No, not Lib. Bink? Bonk? <laughs> I'm gonna call you Bonk. Mix of Bob and Link. Regardless, we need to go over here. And oh, 
part of my nose, by the way. Speaking of, give me one moment. Okay, shut up, V. Everyone, give me a moment. I'll be right back. If the technology... Enter! Cut! Thank you. I should probably make a point I was basically just yelling at myself to cut. Yes, I still have the cough drop in my mouth. I could always plop another one, too. Oh, good. Now it works. Is that why it wasn't working? Because I needed to blow my nose the whole time? What is with the domino effect bombs? Found it. Alright. Let's go. Alright, Fee. Let's grab robot thingamajigger and get the hell out of here. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot which services that we have enlisted. Would you like me to- Yes! I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission, Master. How is that telepathic tr Okay. I have no idea how that's telepathic transmission, but apparently it is. Mistress V, I hope you weren't waiting long. So, you want me to carry this? Yes. Hey, Master Short Pants, you're in the way. Okay, okay, you know what? If you're gonna. Never mind, stay there, I will just die to goodbye. Okay, I don't know if that clink from my background was heard by you guys. If it was, I don't even know what that was. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky. So don't take too long. Or maybe that was this butthole. Yeah, that's what that was, wasn't it? Not really. It actually was something in the background, but... Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller. The propeller as soon as possible. Alright, Fee. Stop pulling that out, Link. Alrighty. Now, let's go ahead and head back to the sky. And take care of this, because there's one other thing we want to collect and a side quest that I just want to get out of the way. Regardless of how many tries it takes, because guaranteed it's going to take many. Actually, because of that, I might save it for next time. Woo, freaking, freaking, do! We'll make it. <laughs> See? We're back. Okay, thanks much. Here's the wind will propeller. Zazzed. 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 If you need me, feel free to call. For Mistress V, I will travel to any destination to dance. What are these words? Whoa. Are you okay, Link? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Maybe. Isn't that the beat-up old robot from Gondo's place? Yep. Wait just a second. Is that... It is. That's the windmill propeller. 
That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying that whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Yes! Hmm. Somehow I get the feeling this is also an elaborate prank. But I guess I'll try to fix this thing. No, it was actually true. This goes here, and I just cranked it. Clink, clink, tick, tick, bonk, bonk. Phew. <sighs> that wasn't very exciting. That ought to do it. We can find some way to spin the propeller. You could probably turn the windmill around. Hey. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, dude. Oh, no. I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear that woman always looking for something. Okay. Go. Chew. Get. Go help her. See you around, Link. Okay, bye bye. Where am I going? Question Why is it spiraling in that direction? Bro, I much would have preferred you to go the other way. Huzzah! Is there like something under the ground that we don't see that's causing this? Because if not, that doesn't make sense. What kind of mechanical contraption is underground? It's wired that far away. I want to know. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> no one told you you could stop. I was going to the beat. B. I don't know what it is with this game. You did see me go to the beat of it, right? Or am I just off? And either my computer's off, or I was going to the beat and the game is stupid. Just like Link, so it's probably the game. Link, Link, Link is, I mean, we're, we're talking about Lib, er, Bonk here, I think. Bonk? We're talking about Bonk here. <laughs> We're actually not going to go there this time. There's something else I want to take care of. It might take a few tries, though. I'm going to cut all the grinding out of the... That way you guys don't have to watch it. But every attempt I do, I will speed up. I will show all of them, but most of them might be sped through if it's more than a couple. Anyway... Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. No. Not happening. Not this time. There we go. Let's go. Uh, blast off. 
Blast off. Hey, Bonk! Ah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, the one thing I don't like about this... Okay. I'll explain this in a sec, actually. Hi! Uh, what am I going to do? It's no use! It's all over! What's wrong? You see, the party wheel that I pinned to my back flew off the island and fell down somewhere below the clouds. Without my party wheel, there's just no way I can make it. It just makes you look stupid, dude. What can I do? I fell down below the clouds, so I guess I should just give up. How am I supposed to... Uh, you're not listening to me! Shut up. I know. I know. Do you wish to set... Well, yes. That means this... The only thing that does is activate this side quest. Little... I know where it is. Shut up. Uh, it would be so amazing if someone were to find it. Just think of the smiles of the... I can't think of all, any of them. I'm not getting my hopes up, though. Let's go. Whew. Not gonna lie, this episode is definitely the most successful of the three I've tried. Even with the weird random noise in the background. I still don't know what that was. Even if you guys could hear it, there was like this lot of playing. I know what to do, Fee. Yes! No, I'm just selecting these things because I'm... I'm bonk. I'm selecting these things because I'm bonk. <laughs> Alright. Let's get up on that cliff. Ooh, wait, I want that. I'm getting my material back. Come on. Could a climb. Could a siddle in a game take any longer than that? Yes. Excuse me. I have identified the item that highly. Un that the. Highly unusual man on Fun Fun Island says was lost. We could call the scrap shop robot to come and retrieve it. Sure. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission. While I go off and blow my nose really quick off screen. Or you could randomly show up in a flash. Fine. I'll wait. Mistress, please, you called. Yes. Well, this place seems strangely familiar. What? So what? Oh my god. So you want me to carry this thing? Yes. Okay, okay. You just sit tight there and stay out of my way, Master Short Pants. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long, bro. Master, I suggest that we head back to the sky and return this party wheel to its owner as soon as possible. Okay. I will say this one thing. This... Side quest is one of few reasons why I am very grateful this version of the game has autosave. It's going to make it very easy to retry infin infinitely until I get what I need.
All right, jump down. And... To the sky! Anyway! Whew! Why am I tired? I'm not. Rephrase, why am I yawning? It's over here, you stupid robot and bird. Well, actually, I control the bird. Stupid robot. I'm just gonna blame the robot. It's all the robot's fault. Bonk! Bonk says so! Uh, Bob, how do you know about Bonk? <laughs> Did you get inside Link's brain or something? Uh... Whatever. Here you go, you dummy. There you go. Here's your wheel thing. If you want something else, sir, just let me know. Is this? Is this? It is! It is! <laughs> Seriously, dude, watching you is making me more and more sicker. I will be right back. Editor, get it right this time. Good job. Even though I'm basically talking to myself, sa same difference. Yahoo! It's my party wheel! <laughs> Thank you so much! Now I can realize my dream of opening Fun Fun Island. It ain't that fun. To me. Or at least as the side quest that we're aiming to get done this episode, it's not. Woo, yeah, I'm so happy. And I'll let you be my first customer, young man. Thank you so much. It's going to be so much fun. Sure, if you're good with precise things. But I'm grateful for that, at least. That makes 43. All right, dude. Let's go ahead. You joyful little man, I owe you everything you fought for finding my wheel. Yeah. And my dream of creating my very own fiery smiley Fun Fun Island has been realized. For all to enjoy and laugh about and laugh at. From the charge 20, but yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey, then let me tell you. I don't need to know the rules. I get the rules. Basically, you have to land on the diamond covered spot don't land on the black ones or the brown ones black takes away 10 rupees the brown ones does nothing anyway you guys will see what i mean in a second anyway more rays you pass through this like yeah i get it just do it's fun as long as you're not aiming towards the ultimate goal of the diamond one that just sucks I have the mindset of, I don't expect to get it first time. Hey, then, let me tell you all about the rules. First thing, to, oh, for the love of no! Did you get all that? Yes! I did not need to hear the rules again. So let's see. It depends on where it starts. Three, two. Okay. One little tip I always have for this is stay as close to the center as possible. Unless you're dealing with that one, then don't. Ah! The one spot I didn't want to land on! No! Ah! 
much too bad. It's so sad. You landed on a loser's face. That doesn't help you, a hole. That's a ripoff. Actually, I'm glad you pulled it out this time. Slash you! Slash you, a-hole! It doesn't bother me that much, though. I kind of was expecting... That's how bad at this I'm at. I am that bad at this side quest. This very specific one. This isn't the one that made me rage quit, though, when I first played the game. Ironically enough, because it did make me that mad. One more shot before we really start cutting. Well, not cutting, but making it easier for you guys to watch. Hi. Yahoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in. Yes. It's right there. Oh my gosh. I think I know where to land too. I might be wrong. This game is extremely, for me, specifically unpredictable. It's always... Uh-oh! No, well, that got me nothing. Bah! <sighs> oh, shut up! Here we go. There you go. Okay. It took a lot of tries, but we did it. We did it. We won. <sighs> I hope you like that little speedy... I think it took five tries, I think. But I hope you like that. <laughs> was there any frustration? Maybe it looked like it, but no. I guarantee there was no frustration there. whoop do doo you landed on a 50 rupee space. Your multiplier is 10, so that means you win 500 rupees. Wowza! You pass through all the fortune rings. Guess which little guy gets a special prize? Go on, guess! That <laughs> thing is the only reason we did this. Here's your big bag of winnings 500 rupees. Thanks. Never coming back. Yeah. Service here sucks. I wanted a cookie and I got a pineapple. Bob, you never even said that. That wasn't Bob, was it? That was Bonk. That was Bonk. Here, let's see if we can speed up the situation. We Oh boy. And don't worry, we're not taking up too much time. To be honest, the only reason we're in here is for that. Well, why are those things in here? I don't like those things. Oh, it's a, it's on the side of that main building. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. Well, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Every time an episode involves side quests, it's usually a bit lengthy. 
Even after the cut, it's probably going to be a little bit lengthy. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely going to find out. Oh, no. I forget. Wait, what? What with the who now? There's a cutscene? Master Lee, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here. I don't know why I'm bobbing back and forth. Shut up. For you by the goddess master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. I definitely concur that I can figure it out. Wait, where are the other whatchamacallit? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I wanted. This is actually going to be really easy. Three. Two. Oops. I don't want that one. I don't want that one yet. Now I want that one. Hey. Yes, that. Uh Oh shoot. I I I I crap. Well, hopefully this even th evens things out. Find out in a sec. You know, if Link will cooperate. There we go. There you have it. Done. We already figured it out. <laughs> <coughs> Boom. Anywhere else I want to go, I'll have to just wait until I get future stuff done. Not what I meant to do, but okay. I think the chest is somewhere on this island, just on this... Right there! Exactly this. I win! As I said, extensive episode, this is nothing new. Ooh! Actually, I double win. I want that. Now! I could enter here and then trigger the cutscenes after entering, but you know what? Nah. We'll take care of the cutscenes in here next time. I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda. Bonk is an idiot. I mean, Sky... <laughs> Skyward Sword HD. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a Zelda game you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out one that I've done prior to this, click the link um, across my head here with the train taking one of those destinations. If you miss any of the stops on this right, click the link in the top right hand corner of the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's out to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!